Okay guys, so today's lesson will be on uh, copying of objects. Uh, well, I will basically demonstrate the difference between copy of an object in C++ and in C Sharp because C Sharp is a little bit tricky with uh, copying of any object or uh, instance, instance of a class. Okay, so firstly I will show you uh, how it works in C++ which is in my opinion more logical. So I'll create new project say copy object demonstration just like this, this is the usual way we set up a new console at project and now we add three important files. The first one is header. The second one is a file that holds the member functions, the methods of that will, will that will hold the member functions of a class. Okay, so let's collect functions. And the last one will be just auxiliary file to run the application. Let's call it main. So we start with main and we, here we're gonna have include header.h then we wanna have void main and brackets. Okay, so we have no code in here so far so let's fill something in here here we want to define a class that we are supposed to copy okay so this one will be class test class just like this and uh, don't forget to type public here we're gonna have constructor test class and it will accept one integer some integer i okay and here in uh, private area we're gonna have the value of i it will be stored so that we cannot touch it from out of the from we, when we are out of the class okay and here we wanna add one more method it will be void change i okay just like this and here above at pragma once this is just for make sure that uh, the program or the the code doesn't run several times like multiple declaration or something like that I'm not good in explaining what this pragma one's good for but be sure to put it there okay so in functions we will define uh, those guys, those two methods, the constructor and the change i method. And so, firstly, the constructor test class. There is something wrong. Ah, we have two, of course. Include header that age. Just erase that because it usually takes some time uh, to initiate uh, the suggestion. <laughs> Test class. There, it, there it goes. Change i. No, it's not change i. I first wanted to add the constructor. Test class. Okay. 
i equals i underscore and test class change i i equals i underscore as well okay so what what this class is supposed to do is basically we initiate the, an instance with some value and we can change the value using uh, this test this uh, change i method just to show you okay so test class say base class or base object just like this and it will be test class say we start with number 10 okay so let's let's check it there is some error so what's the problem here ah I know I always forget this keyword because it is a function that returns void it must be explicitly uh, written here okay now it works so let's see what values it holds so as we expect it holds number 10 so now we can change it to um, change base object change i to 15 it also should work okay no problem and what am I going to do now is uh, to make a copy of this okay to make a copy and it will be also instance of test class and it will be called uh, derived or copied object and we are not going to initiate it like this but we just set it equal to this one because it will be copy of the base object and subsequently we want to change something in the base object as again so base object change i and let's set value 30 okay so this is the same now we create copied object as we expect it holds number 15 because uh, base object at this moment has 15 and we create a copy of that it is logical and now we we change uh, the value of i in the base object to, to 30 and see what happens in the base object it has changed and in the copy object copied object it uh, hasn't changed this is really logical because uh, what C++ does is it really creates a hard copy in the memory so this copied object is a standalone standalone object uh, which is not dependent on the base object okay uh, I think this is nice this is nice property mm, because if you wanted to create a reference you would have to add the ampersand and so on this is not the subject that mm, we are going to go through now I just want to demonstrate how to copy object okay so the the, the important thing or the important point is that those two object are mm, independent okay now see how it works in C sharp so here is a new C sharp studio uh, let's create console application okay and let's create as well here a uh, class uh, test 
class. Okay, public test class integer i and and here we're gonna have integer i so we can type this i equals i which is basically the same constructor as in the case of C++ and moreover we're gonna have public change i and to avoid teacher i Okay, so, so this is the same class as, as the one in C++. And, well, now see what happens if you want to create a copy of a class. Okay, so firstly let's, let's create a test class base object equals test class and we start it with value 10. Okay. Ah, I'm still in C++ notation. So, new test class number 10. Okay, so there is no problem. It holds number 10. Uh, then we wanted to change it, change it to 15. So base object change i to 15. So at this point, base object will hold 15. And now, now we want to create a copy, copy of this base object. So test class. Uh, what what was it called? In copied object. base object and here we want to change uh, the value of i in base object to 30 as in C++ and this one is tricky this point is tricky you will see Okay, so every, everything works up to now just fine. Okay, so this this is logical because here the value here the value of base object is in base object is 15. So if we create a copy of that, it will also be 15. And this demonstrates the the biggest difference because those two objects are not independent in uh, C sharp, because in C plus plus we get in in a cup uh, in base object we got thirty at this point, and this does not happen in C sharp. Look, both have thirty, even though we create a copy. Okay, so so this this is a big problem actually because. Uh, if you want to make uh, a copy of object and want to make it independent from its from its parent, oh, it's not like a parent, but from the from the base class or the base object, uh, it's a problem. Uh, especially when you are programming multi-threading applications and you are passing some objects into a thread. Uh, these objects are still dependent on the base object, uh, so that it, they might they might uh, coincide within uh, the application, which is definitely not something we want. So we somehow need to create uh, the hard copy, the hard copy 
uh, to make these two those two objects independent okay so we can do it as follows um, we can we must do it like manually public uh, test class copy and it will return this member wise clone and you must cast here just like this ah uh, yeah because the thing is basically this piece of code returns uh, object but the object is not somehow specific so you must use this cast here okay so let's delete this one and type base object copy and keep this one just like this and so basically what we expect is that copied object and base object are now separate copies and they are independent so if we change something for instance mm, the eye in the base object it does not affect uh, the copied object okay so we have created a copy now oh there we go can you see it now uh, the copy is independent from the base object so using using this statement here or this method and then using the copy and then calling the copy mm, method here mm, we have basically reached uh, the same code which is here in C++ okay so if we really want if you really want to create a hard copy of any object um, in C sharp you must uh, put something like this into your code okay so I hope this clarifies uh, and explains maybe some doubts about uh, copying object in in C sharp usually we call this a hard copy and if if you use uh, if you use this uh, this is this is called shallow copy because it is more like a reference it is not a real copy okay so be careful when working with classes uh, in C sharp it's a little bit tricky uh, so thank you for watching my video and uh, come to see some more uh, tutorial videos I have